Hello Red and Away Days. Today we're looking at the tactics of how Newcastle lined up last game and we're going to have a look at how Newcastle should line up, I feel, against Redden, which is uh, your boys. So let's have a look at the Newcastle side. I'm going to apologise again about the light. It's sunny outside. There's not much I can do about the lighting around on flashing on the board. So this is the side that Newcastle lined up against Huddersfield, which I did feel at the start of the game, I said in my preview, it was a wrong call. But I think Rafa has already said that there's going to be some changes made against Redden. So let's have a look at what I think and how we'll play against Redden. Okay, so looking at the left back situation, first of all, I feel that Paul Dummett needs to come out of the side because he was all over the place against Huddersfield. He was giving the ball away, he was getting skinned as well. And at a championship level, really, Paul Dummett, you should not be doing that. So I hopefully we'll see Jesus Gamas coming at left back the Spaniard which was signed from Atletico Madrid now he's not he's not lightning quick but what he will do he's very tight in man mark and he's very aggressive so if he does come up against Behrens on the right wing Gamas will just take him down he's literally no nonsense he doesn't give a he doesn't give a toss basically but you won't see him go forward he will stay he won't get forward he will just literally hang about there so looking across on the other side down Yamma who I feel had a great second half First half is a bit, ooh, a bit iffy, but you'll see Daryl Yama bomb on again. You'll see him push on on that right, right, right hand side. Now looking in front of him, Vernon Anita, he had an awful game. I don't understand Rafa's thinking playing Anita on the right hand side because he was kind of tucked in. He wasn't like out and out because Yama was doing the overlapping. So for me, Vernon Anita is gonna have to come out. And I do feel like Matt Ritchie, because he come on in, in the half time, he had a great second half, he's our best player against Redden. Matt Ritchie will come in at right wing. And Matt Ritchie, he will cause problems for a beater who plays at left back, who's been made into a left back, hasn't he? So you'll see Matt Ritchie get up and down. You'll see him cut in because he's got a great left foot as well. He's going to cause a beater a lot of problems. And I feel like McCleary, if he's going to play left wing for Redden, needs to help out there because Richie's going to be in danger. On the other side, I think Rolanda Aarons is fine. He didn't have the greatest game, but we're kind of lacking in wingers at the moment. So I think Rolanda Aarons will start and he's a threat. He's got pace to burn. You know that he's got pace. He's a real as aspect prospect. Redden fans, if you don't know much about Rolanda Aarons, he's done an England under 20 at National. He's had an under 21 call up. He will go on to bigger things, whether he stays at Newcastle or moves on to a bigger side. If he stays in clear, he will be a threat. So you'll see him come in in into there as well. Hopefully you can see that because I know I'm using two pens at the minute. Now, Hayden, for me, was very pretty on the ball, which I don't want from a defensive midfielder. I would like to see Hayden come out of the side, personally for me. And I would like to see Jack Cole back come in. Now, a lot of Toon fans are going to sigh about that. And you're going to ask the question, and I'll answer it for you, is why am I bringing Jack Cole back in at the side? Because... If he's going to play Shelby alongside him, Jack Colback's got that bite that we need in midfield because Chechio is not being considered at the moment because he's humming and on about a move to Al Jazeera or to Watford or wherever, wherever he wants to go. So for, for me, Jack Colback comes in and he's going to be biting at the likes of Evans, Swift, even McCleary when he comes in, Williams who we were linked with as well. So Jack Colback comes in at the side for me. I think that's a key in this game. He's not the world's greatest player. He'll pass the ball sideways, but he'll, he'll literally, very similar to Gamma, he'll take it down if he can pass them, which I think Newcastle need, especially on the counter. So Colback for me. I hope he drops in the air and doesn't bring him across from right into the centre of because Shelby wasn't great but he was dictating the play kind of when I was at St James he was grabbing the ball he was demanding he was trying to spray passes yes didn't come off to reveal but I think you've got to have John Joe Shelby who can feed the wingers out wide and it can also feed the likes of Richie over here he can play in Aaron's he can play over the top for Dwight Gale you know so I think Shelby needs to stay in the side Morty Army he made his debut against Huddersfield. He was awful. He was absolutely awful. Very lazy. Very lazy. For, for, so for me, I would like to see Diame come out. Newcastle will probably play the 4-2-3-1-1 formation, if you want to call it that, with the number 10. And I think Ayose Perez will come in, which I hope Rafa does do, because this lad's got talent. You just need to add goals to his game. 
I mean, the likes of Barcelona were rumoured to bring in Ayose Perez to sit on the bench to be back up for Neymar, Suarez, Messi. So for me, Perez, again, he needs to come in the side. He needs to create a bit of creativity. Him and Shelby, I think, are the key in this game because if Redden, because Redden, as far as I'm aware, play one up front as well, like a 4 2 3 1 formation as well, or a 4 5 1. I'm sure the Redden fans will correct us in the comment box down below. Now, service needs to be given to this man. Yes, he scored a goal, he missed the penalty and he rebounded and he headed it in, but the lad needs service. People are criticising Dwight Gale already. I'm not going to be one of those because if he doesn't get the ball, he's not going to score. Yes, he scored a rebound, but he's hardly getting any touches. But this is down to all of these lots. I know you can't say that very well, but it's down to the midfield, you know. So, Rolanda Ahrens needs to get crosses in. He doesn't have to always take his man on. Matt Ritchie, just continue what he did last game. He was superb getting the crosses in, you know. Likes of callback. Don't, doesn't have to feed all of these. Just play it simple, because that's what he will do. He'll just play it simple. He won't play Hollywood balls or anything. Shelby. Now with Shelby, yes, he'll play the spray along ball, spray the long balls, if I get my words out. But play it simple. Play it simple, Shelby. Play it out wide. Easy. Just play it out wide. I feel, especially if Dwight Gale is small and nippy and the likes of McShane and Van der Berg won't want to play up against Dwight Gale because he's nimble, nimble quick. I think Mitrovic, McShane and Van der Berg will be ideal for this. Uh, Gunter's going to have a problem against Roland Aarons. I'll be interested to see how Gunter comes up because I know he had a great year of 2016. So that's how I feel Newcastle should set up and how they should attack Redden. Let me know what you think of your comment section down there below. Uh, get, get subscribed to Talk of the Tune. And make sure you subscribe to Redden Away Days and come over to my channel where I'll actually be doing a Redden lineup similar to this as well. So thanks for having me on the channel. I've been Newcastle Fans TV. See you later.